when you meditate, you come to experience all these things. There are actually not just 16 chakras. There are much more, actually. There are so many of them. But these are main are 16. According to Buddha tradition, they have also so many. Hindu tradition talks about seven chakras. What happens generally when, when one reaches the Sahastra Dal Kamal, SDK, which is here, and how to locate it? Suppose when you have, the, you know, this tip of your ears, and when you draw a circle here, it will be a half circle, exactly in the middle, that is Sahastra Dal Kamal Chakra, SDK. When you put two fingers this way, there is another chakra. Another two fingers this way is the ninth chakra that I call it. And it is all about cultivating, developing humility. When you have drawn it here up to here, and that is SDK, and come back this way with two fingers, 11th, and then further two, that is Brahmarandra. So there are chakras beyond, and there is a reference to Brahmarandra also in almost all literature. Brahmarandra is, you know, where our elders, especially grandparents, I had seen, they would keep uh, choti. What do you call that in Telugu? Pilaka. 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 See? And that particular position, exactly that, that's what exactly this Brahmarandra is. And it is through this Brahmarandra, the soul departs. If the soul has attained the state of liberation. It would depart from Brahmarandra. Otherwise, it will depart from, you know, anywhere, any any orifice, either eyes, nose, mouth, or, you know, yeah. you can defecate also at that moment of death. So there are seven basic chakras, no doubt. But when you further go deeper into yourself, heart, for example, Heart chakra or Riddha chakra. It is made up of Panchabhutas. And all these Panchabhutas chakras are dominated on two or four fingers below the left nipple, four fingers below the right nipple, four above, four below. So like that, you can measure it and experience also. I can give you an example. That fourth chakra or the seventh chakra here. What happens there? There... When we meditate and arrive at that chakra in a very natural way, through the help of this pranahuti, then you will feel a lot of darkness within. And the quality that will you will be able to witness yourself will be a quality of immense courage arising in your heart. Likewise, when you are on this fire chakra or agni chakra, which is four fingers above the left nipple, when we experience that chakra and as it unfolds because of through this through this pranahuti, you feel immense compassion, immense love in your heart. Right? And when this chakra itself is compromised, you become angry. You, you begin to dislike people, things of that nature. So every how do you identify the quality of chakra? Our, Abhyasis or the people who have been meditating over years, we can correlate all this data that when you are on the, this particular chakra, you feel this, you feel this color, you feel this quality. You can feel that when that chakra is not opened up, you feel exactly op opposite qualities because whole life is all about dvandvaj. Where there is peace, there is restlessness also. So that's why we have this yo-yo kind of a thing in life. You know, sometimes you feel good, sometimes you feel bad, sometimes you like, sometimes you dislike. So all these chakras can be felt and you can individually measure it also. I My upcoming book on spiritual anatomy can at least knowledge-wise help you through. But as I was saying earlier, that it is experience that we are after more than attaining knowledge knowledge you can get from books it's okay but a true yogi must crave for 
experiencing and having experience is it enough i i always say that you see when you are in a company of a rich person and you spend time for three months a good vacation and good food and you know free time and when you come back home then you say oh i wish i was as rich that's it you you describe all the luxuries with your friends oh my friend it's so great he's made so much of money you experienced richness rich hospitality of your friend but in the heart of your heart you think i wish i was rich likewise through meditation we do experience many things but this experience is like visiting your rich friend time must come when i say instead of experiencing divine thing i must become divine myself what happens generally uh, most sanyasis or most people who are trading on yogi yogic path and when they arrive at sdk sahasra dal kamal the most beautiful quality at the same time a deadly quality societal quality at sdk is that of sat chit anand why i say that this is deadly and societal because for a yogi he must continue to progress he must go on moving he should not be trapped you know honey trap honey trap is a bad thing anandam when it traps your journey that means you are stuck you are not going beyond the seventh chakra so most of the yogis they remain bereft of the next chakra because they are those caught up in the dhani trap 